So in this video, for the purposes of your second uh, second semester in organic chemistry, uh, you should know what potassium per uh, potassium per manganate is. Okay, but for, before I get into that, I wanna um, touch on something that you guys, the reagent that you guys should know. If I take toluene and I add NBS, okay, NBS, I will get radical addition. Okay, I'll get radical bromination, and I'll get benzyl bromide. Okay, so NBS gives us benzylic, uh, uh, benzyl, uh, the benzyl carbon. It will just add a bromine onto it. So just remember this NBS. I just wanted to throw that out there. Now for the reactions with potassium permanganate. Now this has to be in delta conditions, okay? Which means that we're adding heat. It's a strong oxidizing agent. And if we add this in heat, which is what, is what the delta stands for, guess what we produce? We produce the carboxylic acid. Now, any R group that's out there, I will get a, a carboxylic acid from potassium permanganate, okay? So what if I take this molecule here? And I added KMNO4 in heated conditions, okay? What I'll produce, I'll produce the carboxylic acid, okay? Likewise, if I take uh, this molecule here and I add potassium permanganate in heated conditions, I get the carboxylic acid, okay? So very general reactions that you should know. I also want to point out something. You could also make the carboxylic acid uh, by using uh, benzyl bromide and you add magnesium in ether, okay? So if you add magnesium in ether, you'll create the Grignard reagent, okay? And once we create the Grignard reagent, we add CO2 and actually from CO2, we get the carboxylic acid.